it's time we take a look under the sea for some easter eggs. This one's a classic, but you asked for it, so it's time to get out your flippers, Ginger and Dentlets. We're going deep diving for another movie, this time everything you missed in Disney's movie, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Bam! The Little Mermaid was Disney's 28th animated feature, so Disney had some time to practice hiding Easter eggs by then. However, they didn't have very many things to hide at that point in their life, so they had to hide things from other movies. His Royal Highness King Triton! When King Triton is riding in on his little dolphin chariot, if you look in the crowd of mermaids, you will see Kermit the Frog from Sesame Street right there! Crazy, isn't it? I wonder whom that could be. Kermit is even Disney! As if I didn't know. However, don't worry, they didn't forget about Mickey Mouse. If you look over here, you will see this mermaid is wearing Mickey ears. So surely that's all that we're gonna find in the crowd, right? Nope. This crowd is like an episode of Where's Waldo. Here we can see Donald Duck. Then over here we see a mermaid is wearing Mickey ears. What? If you go a little further though, you can see Goofy is next to Donald Duck. But on Donald's right hand side, we also see the real king of Disney himself, Mickey Mouse. Oh. I see. How they're breathing underwater? I have no clue. But who cares? It's Mickey Mouse as an Easter egg. That's cool enough. Now Aladdin wasn't around yet when they made the movie The Little Mermaid. However, a fun fact is the two directors of The Little Mermaid, Ron Clemens and John Musker, also directed Aladdin. So you can see their creative style with the pillow looking a lot like the rug from Aladdin. Yo, Rockman, haven't seen you in a few millennia. Give me some tassel. <laughs> Yo, yo. If you remember from my movie Moana, they also directed Moana, which is why there were a lot of hidden Easter eggs to Aladdin in Moana. I wonder if Ariel was hiding in the ocean somewhere. I couldn't find her, could you? <laughs> oh look, another hourglass. Hmm, that looks suspicious. Ah, huh? uh, uh, princess, your time is up. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? This oil painting not only survived the ocean salt water somehow, it's actually a real life painting called Magdalene, the Smoking Flame. Oh, come on, Grim, don't start. Look, you're not still sore because I didn't fall for the princess of Glowery. Fall for the princess? That's right, just like in Frozen, he too was a prince traveling to other kingdoms to look for a princess to marry. I wonder if he visited Arendelle too. We already know Eugene and Rapunzel did. Speaking of Frozen, some people think that this ship right here was Anna and Elsa's parent ship that sunk. I think it looks more like Hook's ship from Peter Pan. However, you get to use your imagination onto whose ship it was. But for the record, I'm just saying it's a pirate skeleton that was in the ship, not a king and queen skeleton, thankfully. <laughs> I gotta get to the Sea King. He must know about this. Flounder and Sebastian both have their fair share of helping Ariel on her little adventure, which brings us to today's survey time. Who do you think made a better sidekick? Flounder or Sebastian or both of them or neither one of them were very good sidekicks? Let me know in the comments or vote right up there. You might have possibly seen online when Ariel signs her voice away to Ursula that there's a hidden Mickey in the little contract. This seems to be not true though. Here's what it looks like on DVD or Blu-ray. No Mickey. And I even dusted off the old VHS. This is what we used to watch movies on. And guess what I found? No Mickey. So this one looks like it's a fake that the internet decided to create. One thing though, if you're trying to learn to draw, don't feel so bad if you have to trace out other images or even copy from something else in real life. Why? Because even the best Disney artists of all time were copying from actual images or video footage. That's right, they actually filmed virtually everything in The Little Mermaid in real life and then they just basically hand drew on top of that image. Like this scene right here. This is so they knew how to draw to make things look more realistic. Fun little fact, walking is actually one of the hardest things to draw and make it look believable that the little cartoon character is actually walking. And when they don't use human references for walking footage, it kind of looks like this. Kind of like a rubberized person that's walking weird. This lady right here was the stand-in for Ariel and a lot of Ariel's personality was actually hers. 
For example, when Ariel is nervous, she often fidgets with her hands, or even when her hair gets in her eyes, instead of just moving it out of the way with her hand, she blows it out of the way. <sighs> even though it's not very effective. These were all little subtle tics that the actual actor had in real life and it wasn't exactly scripted. Even the scene when Sebastian almost became lunch, they tried the scene several different ways in real life and then they traced out the scenes they liked. I'll try! No! Try not! Do! Or do not! There is no try. Just like Kermit the Frog, another easter egg that wasn't a screaming Disney character was this guy. Which one? The only one that's wearing glasses. <laughs> Besides me. That's Mr. Limpet from an older movie called The Incredible Mr. Limpet with Don Nuts. Well, I guess that's all we're gonna find in The Little Mermaid, right? Nope. What are you doing? Cinderella was already made before The Little Mermaid was, so they have to shout out the Cinderella. <laughs> When Prince Eric almost married the evil Ursula, if you look closely at the scene when Max the dog bites Ursula in the butt, good dog. But watch the scene closely and you'll see King Maximilian and the Grand Duke, his sidekick, both made it to the wedding. And what the heck is going on over there in the background? Is that Robin Hood? Now here's a few questionable Easter eggs that I saw and I'm not exactly sure if they're Easter eggs. Have I ever been wrong? I mean when it's important. But I figured, hey, you're experts too, so let's show you the Easter eggs and you get to decide if you think they're actual Easter eggs. I mustn't overreact. I must remain calm. In Ariel's underwater collection, we see a statue that I think looks a lot like Abraham Lincoln. What do you think? Also lastly, check out this head. It looks a lot like one of the men from Pocahontas. And yes, I know Pocahontas was made after The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to Johnny for sporting the Mixar shirt. Looking good. Also want to say happy birthday to Caleb O from Patreon. I hope your birthday was amazing. If you're new to the show, I hide Easter eggs like these inside the video you just got done watching. Find where I hid them and include a timestamp of where they are in the video. Include hashtag Ariel for your chance to win a free shirt. I hope you had a splashing good time finding Easter eggs with me today. Let me know what movie you want to talk about next. Subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. And most importantly of all, gents and gentlets, Share a smile, they are contagious. Hey, share a smile, they're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? <laughs> that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.